What up boys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do tier list part 2 and this one's going to be on win conditions. So this was sort of requested in the other one I did on legendaries. Um, let's just get into this I guess. That's a really poor intro. Why would I have said that as my intro? Who knows? Alright, so we have 23 win conditions here I think. Um, these are subjective. I have chosen these as the win conditions to put in. I've left out stuff like Pekka, Mega Knight and Giant Skeleton because I think they're solely defensive. But then you look on the list and you can see stuff like Bandit, Royal ghost and then you could tell me they're mainly defensive so yeah they are subjective but i've put these forth as my win conditions they're in alphabetical order and i really just you know get through them because there are a lot here and this is going to take longer than the legendary video so less explaining i'm just going to drag and drop them into where i think they should be so we're going to try and do four or five in each because again there's 23 there's five rankings so yeah let's just try it all right balloon i'm just going to put straight up here bandit i'm also going to put straight up here but our ram at the moment i don't know it's either c or D. So I'm going to put it in C for now. Elite Barbs, yeah, this is this is going to be challenge ranking, so Elite Barbs, they just go straight bottom. Um, Giant, maybe highly viable or consistent. I'm going to put it in there for now. I'm going to go same with Gob Barrel. Um, mm, Gob Giant, I don't really know too much about, to be fair. It's either under average or consistent. I think everyone would say consistent, but I would say under average. So I'm going to put it in here, just because we haven't got anything for now. Golem, I guess we go highly viable for this one. Graveyard, we'll go under average. Um, Hog Rider. Ah, it's tough. I'm going to go consistent. Lava Hound, you can get straight up here. Miner, straight up here. Mortar. It's either B or C. I'm going to go C for now just to even it out. Ram Rider is pretty trash. So it's either D or F. I'm going to go F for now. Rocket, I've put in one condition because it does, like... It does so much damage and it's so small that you mainly use it as like a semi-win condition in decks to cycle. Opposed to like getting spell value like you would a fireball. But I don't actually think Rocket's all that good right now. I don't actually know of any mess decks that run Rocket. So just because we don't have any in F, I'm going to put it in F. Royal Ghost definitely goes in there as well. Royal Giant is a tough one because Royal Giant's mainly matchup based. So he's either C or D for me. I'm going to put him in here just to balance it out. Um, Royal Hogs I'm going to put into here, they're usable, but Fireball Bait isn't the best right now. I'm going to put Skeleton Barrel into here, I'm going to put Sparky into here. Ah, but Three Musketeers needs to go in here. Hmm. Tough. So now we're going to move one of these up. I would say Ram Ride is the one that I'd move up, and then one of these also needs to move up. Hmm. For me, it's either Royal Giant or Giant Gob. And because I prefer Royal Giant, I'm going to go with Royal Giant to move up, I think. Warbreakers also need to be down here. So because we're doing this evenly, uh, we're going to need to move another card up, which sucks. So, hmm. It's either Rocket, Royal Ghost, or Free Musketeers. Uh, none of them are used at all. I think just to even it, I'm going to put Rocket up out of those three just because it's sort of an odd one um then out of these i'll move you up of course and then expo 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 i think expo could maybe go here right so now i gotta check myself if i actually agree with all of these so let me order them within their ranks as i did last time again so i think this one would go minor if i can get him to the start go on no i did not want to move you down all right minor bandit balloon lava hound i think this one would go hmm this is tough this is really tough. I'm not actually too sure. Um, maybe Golem, Expo, Giant, God Barrel? Because God Barrel, hmm. I'm a bit stuck with God Barrel because I don't know if I should rank it with bait cards or just as a card itself. But then I look down the list and I'm like, oh, do I want to move any of these up? I'm not really too sure. What I would move up is Mortar if I had to move one. So again, let's just do them within the ranks and then see if I disagree. So Mortar would go there. Um, Royal Giant definitely second. I think Battle Ram or Hog Rider. I'm going to keep Battle Ram there. I think it's it slightly edges Hog Rider at the moment, which slightly edges Giant Go. I think that is correct. Then I think I'm going to go... Oh, this one's tough. This one's real tough because none of these cards are like really similar, right? So maybe I go... Hmm, Royal Hogs, if you'd like to go. Then Graveyard, then Sparky, Ram Rider, Rocket. I think I'm... Ah, oh, Rocket, can maybe move to here? Yeah, I think I'll leave it like that. I think that's pretty good. This one's insanely tough to rank because they're all so trash that you don't really see them, so you can't really compare them. Um, hmm, okay. Royal Ghost is still somewhat versatile, so I'll put him 
I'll put him first in the trash category, I guess. Then I would go maybe Free Musket, then Skeleton Barrel. Oh, which is worse? I think Elite Barbs might be worse. I think Elite Barbs might be the worst card in challenges. So let me just say that again. This is in challenges. If we were doing ladder, Elite Barbs would be high up because they're commons, right? All the common ones would move up, but I think I'm going to leave Elite Barbs last. Right, so now I'm going to uh, cross-check them again. So do I believe that Lava Hound needs to be a tier above Golem? Not really, to be honest. I could see those two being switched. I might just put Golem here. Is Golem better than Lava Hound? Oh, that's so tough. Golem or Lava Hound? Golem or Lava Hound? You know, what? I think I'm actually going to move Golem up one and put it ahead of Lava Hound. Oh, that's tough. All right. And then just because I want everything to be even, that means Mortar gets moved up a rank. All right, do I think Lava Hound's better than Expo? For the general play, yes, I do. Mortar better than God Barrel? Probably, to be fair. I'm going to move that to there. God Barrel better than Royal Giant? Maybe not, you know? Oh, this one's so tough. There's so many and they're so different that it's really difficult to actually rank them all. I'm going to move God Barrel down one. I'm going to put it in there. Now, Royal Giant better than Battle Ram? Yes, definitely. Would I move Battle Ram up? No, I think I'd stay there. And I think these are maybe in order within this rank. Maybe Giant can move down. Maybe Giant to like here? Then Giant better than Battle Ram? Yes. Maybe? I don't really know. It's really weird that the siege buildings are both together, especially with Mortar getting nerfed so much. Hmm. The reason I put Expo and Mortar so high is because you only use them if you're pretty good at them. So it makes them come across stronger than maybe they actually are. So that's why they rank so high, because no trash players are using, you know, Expos or Mortars. But trash players are using loads of Elite Barbs. That's why Elite Barbs are so low. So maybe I do just keep them there. Do I agree that Gob Giant's better than Royal Hogs? Yes, in all honesty. Do I agree that Ram Rider is better than Royal Ghost? Yes, in all honesty. So I think maybe that's my nice and even list. I think I just leave them like that. Miner, for sure, is just like the best card in the game. Like that, it's insane. Um, if any of you want to disagree with that, then you're wrong automatically. I also realize I haven't changed the colors. Why is red at the top? It really annoys me when that happens. So if I had to do all of these, like not even, would I put Lava Hound down to just highly viable? I don't know. I feel like Lava Hound is just in the middle here. But I'm going to leave it here just for the sake of leaving it here. Would I go Expo up to A tier? I don't think so. I think Expo is nice there because it, it could never really be meta because of how difficult it is to run. Would I move Giant down to just consistent? Maybe I would, you know. Maybe I just put Giant into here. It makes this tier really uneven, but yeah. In that case, would I move Royal Giant down? No, probably not. I think it... How oh, would I? I feel like I would. I feel like I'd just put that there, and I think the highly viable ones would stay at Expo and Mortar. I think I would. I think I'd do that like that. Would I move Giant Gob down? Yes, I'd put that to under average straight away if I wasn't doing these evenly, if you'd like to go. Would I move Hog Rider down from consistent to under average? Maybe not. Maybe I'd leave it. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I would. Maybe I'd just whack it here. And Gob Barrel, I would also probably go under average because it needs bait. And then I'd probably put Ram Rider down to failure. I'd keep Rocket there. So maybe that'd be my tier list if I could do them how I wanted them. It's really bottom heavy and I think that's just natural to the game. I don't think like necessarily you need to buff Gob Barrel or buff Hog Rider or anything. I think just like that's how the game is run, right? You can only have so many win conditions in a deck. And when a deck is a meta deck, you just sort of play that meta deck instead of going you know what i want to run a god barrel deck because meh and just as a reminder right to all these trash ones i'm judging them as a card alone so i'm judging god barrel without bait so this is god barrel just in a normal deck where your opponent isn't being log baited so it's pretty trash in that instance and they're also on challenges so hog rider and ladder would definitely move up so would elite barbs but again it's in challenges but yeah i think that is maybe just my default tier list that's a really weird looking one and i don't like how there are so many in under average but i guess that's how it works i think the buff line is maybe here so anything that's gob giant or below could use a buff right now so cards like hog rider gob barrel they don't really need a buff and i think the nerf list is literally maybe just this top tier maybe not even golem i would say golem's fine so maybe just the top three like literally this year if i'm if i'm making nerfs of win conditions i'll go minor bandit balloon down and anything under gob giant to go up but yeah that's my really weird and convoluted tier list which looks really ugly and is triggering me so i'm going to stop looking at that let me know what you think of it down below which ones you would switch or just a full list if you really want to do that um again a note if your win condition isn't there like it's probably because i don't class it as a win condition that's not offensive you 
you can watch my video on wind conditions and it will tell you about semi windages and stuff and I've tried to leave a load of stuff out because it would just get messy with loads of princes and stuff that aren't entirely wind conditions saying that I left rocket in but shh let, let it be but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you've got any more tier list suggestions leave them down below I can make any tier list you would like me to and I'll rank those I guess but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video thank you all for watching and peace